What's happening, Audio Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Just picked up these earbuds. They're the X2T Pluses in black. Found them on Amazon. And thought I'd just open them up here because we'd give them a shot. These are a little different because they are definitely earbuds. You know, I showed you I bought some earbuds that were supposed to look like the Apple EarPods, and they just didn't work well. And the Apple EarPods are so expensive, I just have never taken the plunge. So here is, here are the two earbuds as you might expect to see them. You know, pretty typical looking earbuds. We have the little uh, silicone or rubber, you know, caps on them, little post. And then we have, you know, the whole hardware of them sticking out in a really tiny little, you know, dot cylinder. Looks like on the, uh, let me see if I can zoom in here. Looks like we have on the earbuds themselves, a little hole here. I don't know if these are microphones or lights. We'll find out here pretty soon. They are marked left and right. Right and left. So you do have that, uh, obviously. Looks like we have a couple of uh, contact points for potentially recharging them. And that's kind of what makes these interesting is that they come with this case. And get this out. And this is the... Uh, the charging case for them. So you can see there the little contact point. So I think if we were to take this one, I don't know if they're marked on here to match them up with the left right, but this is this is how it would have to go. Left in there. You know what's interesting is I, I just realized that if I tap this, that's a button on the outside. Yep, on both of them. So and then I'm gonna put this in here. And we have a little LED light showing I think the charge of the case. But then what we have here are little red lights showing that they are charging when I put them in there. So you want to get them lined up. And then somehow we've got to be able to charge the case. So, see what else we get. Alright, so we have a little nylon bag for carrying the case around. We have a micro USB cable, which is cool. We have a bunch of extra earbuds, including the ones with the little flare out. So if you're going to wear these while being really active, you should be able to, you know, use these to kind of brace it inside your ear, as well as all the standard ones. And then, wow, what's this? We've got a uh, USB to micro USB adapter. All right. And then we also have the manual here. So what I do want to do is get these paired. MFB button. So there's, um, that is going to be the function button. And looks like micro USB port is right there. So I'm going to just kind of plug everything in, get a charge, get them paired, and then we will see what our thoughts are on these little bad boys. All right, so to help you a little bit here, you want to take the left one uh, in order to get into pairing mode and hold the MFB button, which is the kind of this outer button, for two seconds until the LED flashes. And now we're in pairing mode. So then go to your device and select it from the Bluetooth list. Once you've paired the earbud with the left one, now you want to turn on the right one and you just hold down the MFB button for two seconds to light up. And then it should connect to the left one, and you should be ready to go for stereo music. So I think you get the little blue light there, I think we're good to go. All right, let's see if it works. All right, guys, so I have the earbuds in it because my ears are like sunk into my head. You can barely see them. They are really strangely comfortable. Let me just tell you that right off the bat. I think the the, the medium ear cups are on, and I actually thought I was going to go to the small ones just because my ear canals are kind of small, but uh, these are really, really comfortable. And they're so light, you know, I can, I, I, I really thought that, you know, with the center of gravity maybe being outside the ear canal, they'd fall out, but man, I can do anything and they're not going to fall out. They're, they're really light and, and shockingly comfortable and I think far less stupid looking than the ear pods okay so let me get that out of the way now I do want to say here though that um, I kind of figured out how they work and it's not um, it's pretty 
it's it's not that confusing. It's pretty intuitive how they work, but I do have some kind of suggestions. So first of all, the MFB button, which we just called the button because I don't know why they call them MFB, multifunction button. I'm assuming, uh, is is just a press and it's kind of hidden and there are a button on both sides. And basically, if you hit it uh, once ever, it either play or pauses the music, which is kind of nice. So you can play or pause from either ear. If you have a call coming in, you actually have to hit it on the right earbud. Uh, I, I didn't actually try it on the left. The instructions didn't say if that would work or not, but I you know, just followed the instructions and I was able to take a call and hang up a call by tapping once. So when your phone rings, you can do that. Now, here's where it gets a little funny, is that the left one controls the volume and the right one controls forward or back. And so the way you control the volume is by the number of taps. And so you go volume up by tapping twice quickly and you go volume down by tapping three times quickly. And you actually have to put a, it's not like an accelerometer. You actually have to press in there, tap, tap, tap and, and click the button. The, the right one controls advance or rewind. And the same thing, twice to advance, three times to go back a song. So you just kind of have to keep that in mind. The nice thing is because it's the right one and most people are right-handed, or at least I am, if a call were to come in while I was listening to music, I would just naturally go up to this one and hit the button, take the call, hang up. And But I would just have to guess, you know, um, and because volume is probably what I'd use the most, that it's always the left side. This brings me to my suggestion, uh, is that the, the problem to me is that you actually have to put quite a bit of force on the button to advance it. So let me just kind of show you what I am mean here. It might not be easy to see, but the button is really underneath this kind of clear plastic cover. And so it's like any button where it's gonna move in and out. So you have to, have to put some force on it. And the problem with that is, to me, is that you're kind of pushing it further into your ear canal. Now it's not painful or anything like that, but it's almost, uh, I'd almost prefer if there were a little physical button on the top or the bottom so I could squeeze it so that I'm not pushing it any further in. Like I said, it it's a small thing, but I just noticed that when I were clicking it, it's just kind of a little, I don't know, uncomfortable, awkward, it feels like, you know, as opposed to, I'm sure on the ear pods, I think you just tap them and you're not really physically jamming it into your ear anymore. That being said, the sound quality is great. Uh, again, all ear pods to me, or earbuds to me, just, you know, are focusing all that music. The little ear cups are really uh, screening out any additional noise. So you just really get good sound with them. And then what I really love about these is that they're truly wireless. They come with a little wireless charging case so I could just take these on a trip. They'll probably uh, last long enough for a day hike, plenty of t for working out. Uh, you know, if you wanted to listen to them while working out or jogging, you probably could go days without having to recharge them. Uh, and I just love the fact that I can put them in the case and they'll recharge right away, whether it's plugged in or not. You saw that. So uh, really impressed with this. I think, I'm not sure if this is called AS. I'm not exactly sure what the logo is, but uh, really happy I found these. Uh, these are definitely going to be my go-to ear wireless earbuds right now you know i have the ones with the cords i like i like those uh but you know in terms of the ones that i could really keep with me take a call you know travel with uh these are just really the most unobtrusive uh the kind of the most convenient ones i think and and really the most subtle ones i could actually wear these at my desk or walking around and people wouldn't necessarily know i have them in so really like them a lot check it out i'll put a link to it in the description peter von Pand out